Should Batman and Catwoman actually be married? Hi, I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. And we're going to deviate from our normal set of videos. Normally, we'd have a fan theory come out the day this video is released. But we decided to talk about a comic book that came out last week. And that issue is Batman number 50. Now, this is not a review for Batman number 50 because honestly I thought it was a very well written issue full of excellent character moments and some superstar art. What did you think of it? I completely agree. Um, I think that the Catwoman wedding dress will go down in history as one of the most beautiful outfits that we've ever mm -hmm. seen. And I think that it was really constructed well as a narrative. Yes. So we're going to talk about again, not really that issue because I think Tom King did a fantastic job. We're going to more talk about is it right for the time of Batman and Catwoman as a married couple. Mm -hmm. Because that is definitely what this issue picks up. That is the discussion that this issue really hits off. Because, spoilers, if you haven't read this issue that came out a week and a half ago, uh, and I'm so excited to read those comments where all you, call, you guys call me on spoilers. <laughs> Go use Google. Um, they don't get married. Mm -hmm. Batman and Catwoman do not get married. Catwoman leaves Batman standing mm -hmm. on the altar and um, we get this big reveal that it is part of Bane. It is a, a little, little, you know, scheming from Bane. Little machinations. Little machinations, great word. Thank you. From, from Bane there that to break the bat, which I think is a pretty dastardly pan, plan to, uh, you know, break the bat. Also, go look at that little last scene of Bane standing with all the uh, criminals there. Uh, Skeets is there. What? Why is Skeets there? Okay, weird. Because weird mystery. Because maybe Booster yep. will undo it. We flash, oh, the picture on, we flash the picture on screen, yeah, you know, yeah, just go yeah. for it. Um, so Tom King, uh, the excellent writer uh, of Mr. Miracle, Sheriff of Babylon, uh, uh, which Vision? is an excellent, yeah, Vision as well, Omega Men, he says he has another 50 issues of Batman mm -hmm. planned. So, there is a chance that Batman and Catwoman could still get married somewhere during his what, run. What, Jason? What? You mean we could do an idea that we've seen mm -hmm. before? Yeah, maybe even <laughs> issue 100. You yeah, know, that could be coming be around cool. here, which will be in like two years because Batman double ships. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ashley, let's talk about this. Yeah. Um, we recently did an episode of our podcast, Geek History Lesson. Go listen on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, all those places, where we talked about the best DC comic couples. Mm -hmm. Now, on your list of top five, you did not include Batman and Catwoman. That's true. I did. That is also true. So, um, but how do you feel about this? Batman Catwoman... Should they be married in the comics? Like, is it is the time right for those stories? So my bias is I'm less of a Batman Catwoman together working partnership. We know the identity. She's allowed in the Batcave fan than you are. I know that's something that you really like. Who's Batman's big love for you? Robin? Uh, his parents. Justice. His justice? Shadows. Oh, I don't know. Justice, um, I love you. I don't necessarily see Batman slash Bruce Wayne as a married type, as okay. a marrying type. Sure. However, this Batman in this continuity, raising a biological son with a larger Bat family than ever before. The biggest Bat family we ever had. Yes, uh, which is always going to be the case because we just keep adding members. I think that if you were going to marry Batman in current continuity, mm -hmm. this is a really perfect time to do it. All right. Um, and I think because Catwoman's solo series kind of spins out of these events, it would have been nice to introduce a new status quo for her as well, launching into a solo title. And I also think that kind of the way that the Rebirth continuity has been driving, it makes sense for these two characters to consummate their partnerships. And we've seen them work as a couple before mm -hmm. on Earth 2, which I know is a series that you really like. They've been married for a long time. Well, not that didn't happen in the Earth 2 comic book series that happened in previous continuity on Earth 2. Right, but uh, but they're married, they have a daughter, sure. she's Robin, she's Huntress. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. we've seen them work as a couple before, yeah. um, so I think it would have been interesting to see it in the current continuity, even if it was only for the length of Tom King's run, sure. because everything gets reset eventually. Yeah. It's comics, no one dies, we know stuff like that. So I do And Mary Jane talks to the devil. Well, we can pretend that that never happened. All right, keep going. Um, but I do think that now would have been an interesting time if they were going to marry Batman for it to happen. Whether or not it's my number one headcanon preference or not. Mm -hmm. How about you? What's your opinion on that? Yes. Simple as that? I mean, I think, I think so. <laughs> I, I really do. Um, 
there's an interesting conversation that I, I, I got to have with Mr. King uh, once before where I asked him a question, what's the hardest part about writing Batman? Mm-hmm. And his response back to me, this was at San Diego Comic-Con, I believe, two years ago, was to try to do something new. Mm-hmm. Because we've had almost 80 years of Batman. 80 years will be next year. Mm-hmm. There has been so many stories. There's one time where there were five Batman solo titles being published at the same time. And what a glory age it was. It was a glory <laughs> age. But that is a lot of Batman. Yeah. That is a lot of Batman stories. So um, I understand his point. And even though we have seen Batman and Catwoman married in past continuity, most specifically during the 70s and the early 80s in the Earth 2 continuity, where Batman actually died, they had a funeral for him, go look it up. There's a famous cover. Go Google it. And I think that even though we haven't seen it in main continuity, yeah, because yeah. that was still in the sideways continuity, and you are correct, even if you were to marry them off, I have a feeling the next writer would just divorce them. Mm-hmm. But we have not seen a married Bruce Wayne in regular continuity. And I would like to see how Batman deals with it. Even if the storyline is, hey, buddy, you really shouldn't be married. Yeah. Would you like to see Bruce be happy? Like, to be good at being married and for Selina to bring as much to his civilian life as Catwoman does to Batman's well, here, vigilante age? Well, here's, here's the argument here. Sure. So a lot of Batman number 50 is set up on the idea that Selina doesn't believe that Bruce can be Batman and be happy. It's a very valid point. Here's my other course of that. Marriage is are not 100% euphoric. What? (laughs) Kind of like everything in human life, right? (laughs) Yeah, you'll be a little bit happier because hopefully you have a great partnership with another person. Like you're just, to Batman, it would be like adding another Robin. I was like, oh, great. Here's the 10th Robin. I just collect them anyway. And this one I can cuddle with and Gordon will give me weird looks. (laughs) Um, I'm more of a Mick Rory there than than a Batman and I apologize for that. But that, him being married doesn't, mean that he's going to be euphorically gay all the time. Or that it's um, going to undo the trauma that he suffered in his past. Yeah, and I mean gay as in happy, go look it up in a dictionary, chill the F out in the comments. Um, so, yeah, I think that there you could explore something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Batman shouldn't be married. I mean, that's 100%. But I, w- I guess I would have, I, I think the time is right. And I hopefully uh, Tom will either do this in his run or maybe a future Batman writer will do it in his run. I would love to see Batman grapple that because I remember when they introduced the son and Me everybody, too. now Damien's been around for about 10 years now. Yeah. He's been around for a long time. He does. He's got, he's got quite a lot of staying power. Yeah. So, and everybody was opposed to that idea as well. Even me a little bit. Mm-hmm. I was like, you're going to get Batman a son? I, I was, yeah. I don't know if I like this. Uh, but again, he's been around for a decade mm-hmm. now. He's not going anywhere. So I would be I would be curious to see if a writer, uh, um, and this doesn't have to be Tom. Any, current, any writer. Any writer could make a Batman marriage stick around. People said the same thing about Lois and Clark in the 90s. And now... When we had a Lois and Clark unmarried for about five years in the New 52, everybody was like, I want married Lois and Clark again. I was going to bring up that I have seen people make this assertion, and it's just a guess and no one knows, but uh, the success of the Superman family, if that's maybe what drove them away from building more of a Batman family, Mm. because people have really responded to Lois and Clark and the addition of John John. in the Rebirth continuity. Well, everyone except Brian Michael Bendis, it seems. Right. Uh, But so, like, could we dare... Spoilers for Man of Steel 6. Could we dare have, like, two of... The Trinity happily married. Oh no. Well, I, I think that kind of makes them simpatico. You think so? Well, because look at it. We had the super sons. Mm-hmm. Why not? Super ha- sons. Why not have the super families? Why not? Soup Bat Family. That's a that's a title name right there. Soup Bat Family. Soup Bat Family? Yeah, I think I'd <laughs> with every, a slash? Every, yeah, sure. Everybody would buy that book. Yeah, sure. And then you have the Batman symbol hugging the Superman symbol. <laughs> Get to designing that right now, Chip Kid. Yeah, someone please uh, send it to no, us. No, Chip Kid specifically. Oh, you're okay. out there. I know you're watching. So, um, I don't know. Like I, you know, and and we don't know where the decision came from mm-hmm. to not have them married. It might have been editorial mandate. It might have been Tom, uh, Mr. King's idea right from the get go that to never have them married. And again, he's got 50 more issues or even more. He doesn't have to leave Batman at 100 to actually have them be married. I actually think that that is going to be. By the way. 
weird prediction spoiler time. I think, not really a spoiler, because it might not happen. I think he is going to have them married and that this is a bluff and a red herring to make us look away. Well, I was going to bring up um, something that you mentioned earlier that I forgot about that. Like, Skeets is there. Yeah. Skeets is a servant of a time-traveling, reality-warping hero. Well, they did have a storyline right before the wedding where Booster Gold gave Bruce the gift of a perfect a perfect future, and it was like it screwed up his whole timeline. Yeah, but yep. that doesn't... Maybe Booster will correct this. It could. You know, like, there's, there's still a long time for it to happen. It yeah. is something that I would like to see happen mm -hmm. with sort of the current set of dominoes that make up the Batman universe right now. Yeah. I will it say. Would, I will tell you this. It would be an interesting world. There used to be this thing that when the Daredevil writers, uh, through Brian Michael Bendis and Ed Brubaker and Andy Diggle and Mark Wade, they used to do this thing to where when you were the writer taking over Daredevil, or were you and the writer leaving Daredevil, you would leave an impossible cliffhanger for your next person. And Brian Michael Bendis did it for Ed Brubaker. He put Matt Murdock in jail. Yeah, yeah. Ed Brubaker made Matt Murdock the head of the hand. Yeah. Andy Diggle uh, basically took away Matt Murdock's identity and made him a villain. So that's what Mark Wade had to deal with. So it's interesting that like all of these writers are sort of dealing with, it would be interesting to see if Tom King would do his last issue of Batman leaving Batman and Catwoman married and As, just being like, you got to deal with it. Or even if it was like truly the wedding issue because uh, we didn't even get to see a runaway bride situation. There is no wedding. There's no, there wedding, is no wedding whatsoever. So yeah, I don't know. I think they should be married. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Get them married. Let's uh, uh, you know, go to the not.com. That's not with a K. Uh, <sighs> register uh, Selena Kyle and Bruce Wayne and we shall all contribute to their honey fund even though he's a 1% billionaire and needs none of our money. I guarantee you someone has made them a wedding website. I guarantee somebody has. Yeah. I mean, DC printed invitations. Somebody's made a wedding. Yeah. So get out of the comments and tell us, do you think Bruce and Selena should be married? While you're down there, click subscribe because we do lots of nerdy videos just like this one. And for more exclusive geeky content, check out patreon.com slash Come join us in the Hall of Justice and be a super friend. Thanks for watching, super friends.